Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am here on the 1st of December with the wrap-up of a month-long project, hashtag Art Journal Habit 2019, for the Art Joy of Sharing Facebook group. I did it last year. Last year I did collages. This year I decided to do watercolor, and I really got into it. So, here is the book that I made from scratch. Yay! And I put the little tidily thing on the front of it so that when I pull it out from all the other spirals that are up on the bookshelf, at least I'll see this when I go to pull it out and it'll remind me that's, you know, not an empty book. All right, so I'm going to do a flip through. Many, 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 almost every one of these came off of pictures that I saw on Pinterest. I had a great time doing them. I learned a lot. I learned that I like certain papers better than others. I learned that there are certain colors that I've shied away from that I might could go back to with watercoloring. I emphasize the word might. <laughs> I learned about white space. None. <laughs> oh, wait, right there. I learned that I could mix watercolors with collage to cover up something I didn't like. And I stamped over watercolor, which I don't usually do. I really need to learn to plan out stuff a little bit better. My, uh, This is the least liked for me, the one that I, le I like the least in the whole book. It's too busy. I don't know what it is about this one, but I'm not especially fond of it. Although I'm looking at the camera, it doesn't look horrible on camera, but it's not my favorite one in the book. This one, I learned how to scrub colors off of paper as best I could without tearing up the paper. Since this paper is not really the greatest for scrubbing too much off of it, I did try. After the camera shut off, I filled it in with blue paint and started looking at it and went, oh... I think that was a bad decision. So I went back with a wet brush later on, like a week later, and re-wet it and tried to scrub the majority of the color off. I did like this one in the beginning, but you know that thing about one step over the line? This was several. <laughs> I like this. Very abstracty. Abstracty. I always love circle doodles. You'll never get me off of those. I always got to have them somewhere. This is where I took a turn to Crazy Town, is doing this bird off of an... This is the napkin, and this is mine. And I had a great time doing it. I really surprised myself. But that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Light bolts. The thing I had to learn about this is that in order for me to lay another color on top of the base color, I really have to show some patience and let them dry, either that or whip out the heat gun. And when you do that, though, it tends to warp your pages. My pages are all kind of warped. I know I didn't tape them down or anything like I've seen on millions of videos, but that wasn't the point of doing this. I love doing the pumpkins. I really like the color orange. Don't know why, can't explain it, but I do. Then the watermelon, that was a lot of fun. And the radish, which was a spur of the moment, wasn't planned. It was just going to be about the watermelon. And then I saw the radish and went, I really like that purple look. That was fun. The orange, the only thing I regret about this one is splattering the orange on the paper. The rest of it I'm okay with. I was learning how to do things from somebody else's um, uh, painter's blog. There was no... Um, it was all the written word. Nothing was demonstrated. There was no YouTube video. It's really hard to follow someone else's stuff when there's no voice inflection. They don't kind of explain why they do what they do. But, you know, I still got a good result. Went horrible. And the tomato, as simple as it is, I really like the tomato. <laughs> I haven't, that's because it has red and two shades of green. What can I say? I enjoy doing these abstract flowers. That was fun. I changed the colors twice on it, on these three right here. 
This one, there was no video for. I have a video. I just never uploaded it. Um, I love doodling. So I think the reason I like watercolor so much is because I can watercolor and then doodle over the watercolors. And I really like the different blotchy look, you know, in different gradations um, in the watercolor where I don't get that as much from acrylic, at least not my acrylic. All right, this one you did not see on a video. I giggled through the whole video and I decided I was not going to put that video out. The only problem I see with this one, and I, I mentioned it in the video, is when I drew these trees, I didn't leave room for the trunks. <laughs> And that made me laugh through the whole stinking video. I just giggled my way. I don't know what was wrong with me. I just laughed through the whole video for no reason. <laughs> These were a lot of fun. Um, I got to work with different shades of green, which is my favorite color. The only thing I need to do is try to find some kind of a spray to put over my watercolors because I had to put some tracing paper and a paper clip over this because I noticed that this stuff here is starting to rub off on the other side of the paper. So in order to preserve this, I took a piece of tracing paper that I had cut for something else and it's just paper clip it on here so it doesn't ruin the rest of the picture. You did not see a video for these. I was playing around with making birds, got a little overconfident. But you can tell they're birds. <laughs> At least you can tell they're birds. You know what I struggle with on birds is their feet. I painted them on here and then I whited them out. Because I, I, I need to do more pictures and practice more with the, place, the placement of a bird's feet. So this is something I might add to later because I want to add their feet back on. I don't want them to just be floating in the air. <laughs> Then by accident, or, you know, people said there are no such things as accidents, but I was going through my um, suggested videos, and a video for this lady, and her name, I think, is Ellen Crimmy Trent. She does watercolor on YouTube, and then she has acrylics, and I think she put, puts those on Instagram, if I remember correctly. But I started following her on Instagram, and I started doing her what they call mini, mini Madness Monday, Monday or Mini Monday Madness, something like that. But she does little things on Mondays. I am crazy about these little tutorials. They're, they're not usually more than half an hour long, and I can paint them. Now I'm getting a little bit better. I can paint them and put out a video that's about 20 minutes. So I'm... I, I love this stuff, the peppermint one. Now, there is one missing from this, and it's the uh, candy cane. I have not painted that one. I started out with just this and this, and then I wanted to work on the side pieces here, the, the wrap part of the candy, so I did this one again. And I might try the candy cane later at a later time, but I had such a fun time doing these. These right here, are her the little minis that she does and uh, she does two in one video and these were my very first trees and winter scenes and I had such a good time such a great time I was a nervous wreck the whole time I taped them off with um, you know blue painters tape and they're I think they're three inches roughly three inches by three inches it may not be straight but that was the intent three by three then the next day or a couple days later, she did two more, which was a nighttime cabin scene and a daytime cabin scene. Well, I got the, I, I struggled with the, the roof and I didn't have any white, um, oh, what's the name of the paint? I can't think of it. Anyway, um, and I didn't have any of it, so I used white acrylic on the watercolor paper because I didn't have anything to cover it up. So those are those, again, the little three inch by three inch, and I taped them off. Then she did this one, or I found it in her stuff. I can't remember. The two apples. I had, 
I had a good time doing the apples. I struggled a little bit with the thing around the, like the indentation where the stem is in the apple. I need to bring my stem down a little bit further, but I understand how it works because then the second time I did it here and I, I found it was easier the second time. This was the first one, the second one. I was, I was so surprised. I looked at it, camera, and, oh, that's an apple. <laughs> Okay, this was done on the 27th. I did these every, I did paint every day. I just didn't put out a video every day. Um, this one was the 27th, and I think this one is by far the best of the, you know, the cabin in the wood look ones. I think my trees, which she did a different technique for the trees, it was a spreading out, and then you went back in later after the spread kind of spread out a little bit. Then she went back in with a fine brush and did the detail work. That's something I've never done before. And I don't own any detail brushes. I probably own one or two watercolor brushes. And so I was at a little bit dis of disadvantage, but I did the best I could. This was my favorite tree. This one's a little too thick for me, but that one's my favorite one. And this, I, I was so excited to do. Then there was this one where she did the little Christmas wreath where you doodle first and then you paint in with the watercolor. I put the little frame around here after this was done because it was just sitting there in the middle of nowhere. Hers had more stuff on it, but I got the gist of it. It was fun. This one, I, oh, the splattering of the paint. I don't, why do we do that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I got carried away. I was watching Netflix while I was painting. I think that's what it was. This is one, this one is the 28th. The other person's flowers were more abstract than what mine are, but I had a good time doodling over it, and it was nice. I really like this one. And I think her name is Jane Ville, 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 V-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E. and I think it has the name of the flower that was on Pinterest. I wrote it down off of Pinterest, and I wrote down this one's from um, Ruth Josephson. But I, I remember these when I was a kid. I really like that. This was harder to paint than I thought it would be. And then the very last one. Merry Christmas, y'all. This came again from Pinterest. And that's the last one for the book. I did, however, I don't know why I was thinking. I thought there were 31 days in November. Don't ask me why. Uh, so I put an extra page in here. So I thought what I would do is I would go ahead and swatch the all the paints that I was gifted in here. And this is not Jane Davenport. Davenport. This is Daniel Smith and the Marabou paints. Uh, Gina B. Aaron sent this to me. So she wanted me to try some Daniel Smiths and some other ones and gave me a lovely array of colors. I am crazy about this stuff. Now, see, the thing is, I've been using lesser quality paints and now that I've used the good stuff it's kind of hard to go back <laughs> she created a monster uh, my next mission will be to upgrade my brands of paints and get some empty pans and some better paint brushes I would like real watercolor paint brushes that are dedicated just to watercolor so there is my flip through through art journal habit 2019 and I'm hoping that you enjoyed going along and looking at all the videos with me. I don't know if I'll put any more watercolor videos out, although I do have the footage. But I don't know if I will put them out at this point in time. I'm done with this, and now I'm moving on to another project. So I don't know if I'll have time to put videos out for this. We'll see. Maybe I'll slip one in in the summertime. I don't know. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching and supporting and leaving comments that were very helpful to me. I appreciate those of you who watercolor, who give me little nuggets of knowledge, and that really does help me become a better watercolorist. So I really do appreciate it. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye-bye.